Okay, we're going to take a look at the subtraction method we've been using in class lately, uh, the complementary method. So we're going to do £7.53 take away £4.85. To do this, what we're going to do is count up from £4.85 up to £7.53, and that will give me the answer to the subtraction. Okay, so from £4.85, what's the nearest tenth? I could count up to, or the nearest 10 pence. Okay, so that's going to be £4.90, because from £4.85, the nearest 10 pence I could go up to is £4.90. I'm going to put £4.90 just on the side in brackets, so I can remember that's where I'm going up to. Okay, so I'm going to think now, what did I add on to £4.85 to get to £4.90? It was 5 pence, so I'm going to write 5 pence underneath here making sure that I put everything in the correct column for the place value. Okay, now I'm going to look at my £4.90, which I put over here in brackets so I can keep track. Okay, what the nearest pound I could get to from £4.90? Well, I'm thinking now that that's going to go to £5. Okay, it seems like a nice safe number to go up to. I'm going to put £5 in brackets over here on the side, underneath. And again, I'm going to think, what did I add on to £4.90 to get to £5? Well, it's 10 pence. I'm going to put 10 pence over here in my columns. Okay, now I'm going to go back over here, and I'm going to think, right, what, did, what can I add on to £5 now? My target number is £7.53. That's what I'm trying to count up to. So, what can I add on to £5 to get up here? So I'm going to add on, I'm going to go up to £7. I'm going to put £7 here. Okay, and what did I add on to £5 to get to £7? I added on £2, so I'm going to put £2 in my columns. Okay, so 2 in my units column. Um, and now finally, from £7, I have to get to £7.53, so this is nice and easy now. What did I add on to £7 to get to £7.53? Okay, so I'm going to put £7.53 over here first. Yeah, and you can see, clearly I added on 53 pence to get there. So over here, I'm going to write down 0 0.53, okay, five, uh, 53 pence. Now finally, all I have to do to give me the answer to the subtraction is add up all of these numbers in the middle. Okay, the easiest way to do that is to start with the largest. So I've got £2 plus the 53 pence plus the 10 pence plus the 5 pence. So I've got £2, pound, £2.53, pound £2.63, £2.68. And I can write my answer underneath here. Okay, a great easy method of finding the answer to a subtraction.